Fortnite, the battle royale video game which is free to download on all devices, has been one of, if not the most popular game in the world over the last few years. Epic Games, the company behind Fortnite, released the game in July 2017, and after only 10 months it had 125 million players and $1.2 billion in revenue. That only improved in 2019 with 250 million players and $1.8 billion in revenues. When they released their app on the Apple App Store, they were rumoured to be generating $2 million per day despite the app being free to download. But how did they earn money with a game that could be downloaded free of charge? Here's how it happened. The concept of the game is simple, 100 players are dropped on a map that contains various weapons and materials, and the map slowly shrinks in size as the players try to eliminate each other, with the last person standing winning victory royale. What makes this game interesting is the strategies that Epic Games use to earn money. Similar to apps on a mobile, they offered a freemium service, where players could play for free, but other features could be unlocked for cash, or the in-game currency, V-Bucks. These microtransactions seem so small and insignificant that many players end up spending large amounts of money altering the appearance of their character. Whilst the game itself is free, the V-Bucks can be earned through playing the game or bought online, and the conversion rate is about 100 V-Bucks to $1. But whilst the currency is used to upgrade your looks and style of play with skins or costumes, dance moves and novelty pickaxes, players cannot use the currency to improve the performance of their character. Everything is purely cosmetic. Many of the accessories are also only on the store for a limited time, encouraging players to buy something before it disappears forever. Here's an example of a basic character on the free-to-play version, but if you prefer to wear something slightly more interesting that attracts more attention, then there's plenty of choice in the store, at a cost of course, with skins costing around 1500 V-Bucks or $15. Then there's the pickaxe, the basic one can be a bit boring, or you could wield a pizza cutter version, or a colourful version, as long as you're prepared to pay for it. At the start of each game, players drop into a map with a glider, and again, if you don't like the basic one, why not buy a funky one and choose what you want to look like. If you'd prefer to glide in with an umbrella or a basketball hoop, who are we to judge? And finally, the dance moves, where players can intimidate or gloat to the opposition. Essentially, the more money you spend, the more your character does. And even Marshmallow has his own signature dance move. Lastly, and perhaps the most important, is the Battle Pass, which players can purchase for $9.50 and it offers more features and the possibility to earn more coins and rewards as you play. This generates a significant bulk of revenue for Epic Games. The game was designed to make the various characters or skins look appealing so that other players would want to buy them and use them, generating more money. One character looks so much like Keanu Reeves and John Wick that Reeves himself wanted to be in the game, so they made a character that people could buy. Fortnite has succeeded in part thanks to the merging of popular culture within the game, which has seen well-known characters become available for use, including Thanos from the Avengers, Major Lazer, and Deadpool. But the crossover between gaming and the film industry doesn't stop there, because Star Wars characters were made available to purchase for a limited time to promote the new film, The Rise of Skywalker. And in a new style of marketing, the trailer for Christopher Nolan's latest film, Tenet, was broadcasted on a big screen within the game for a limited time. Not only is the game revolutionising the film industry, but also the music industry, as the most popular event in Fortnite was Marshmello's in-game concert in the middle of the map which attracted over 10.5 million players who joined to watch the DJ's performance. The game itself has earned billions, but has also made a number of people famous, including Ninja, the gamer and streamer who is now considered a Fortnite icon, as well as Booga, who won the inaugural Fortnite World Cup at the Arthur Ashe Stadium in New York, where he took home a cool $3 million. The prize pod of $30 million was only possible because of the billions it had been generating over the years, and this continued with the Fortnite Pro-Am, where gamers and celebrities teamed up and Ninja and Marshmallow won a million dollars, finishing top of the pile. Fortnite is so popular that on top of the 250 million players, millions also tune into Twitch to watch streams of other people playing the game, and its popularity is starting to slip into the real world, especially in football, with Premier League players such as Deli Alley, Harry Maguire and Harry Kane all playing and streaming the game. It also inspired Antoine Griezmann's celebration called Take the L. Fortnite has succeeded in making the game available to as many people as possible through Xbox, PlayStation, PC and mobile with all devices capable of playing against each other. 
If they can start generating revenue from China, who have recently unfrozen game licenses, Fortnite could continue to generate billions of dollars in the future. And that's how it happened. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed that, and let us know what you'd like to see next by leaving a comment below. Thanks for watching.